I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. Ain't but two things on my mind. Drive a man and quit in time. As we celebrate the Max Roach Centennial, there are two wonderful events coming up in Newark in recognition of the legendary drummer. First, a documentary film screening and panel discussion of Max Roach, The Drum Also Waltzes, by award-winning filmmaker Sam Pollard. Pollard will be on hand for the event on January 18th at the Newark Museum of Art. You mean Max Roach is one of the greatest musicians in the 20th century. I mean, you know, phenomenal. You know, on the, on the percussion instrument, you know, a phenomenal composer, phenomenal band leader. You know, so when I first, the first time I listened to Max was probably in the 70s on that album. And the sheet knows this album, Members Don't Get Weary. Yes. You know, and I love that record. I mean, Stanley Kyle, Tolliver, Jimmy Merritt, and Max. I was like, wow, man, yes. Gary Bartz. Gary, I yes. thought it was fantastic. And and then it just forced me to go back and listen to all of Max's stuff when from playing with Charlie Parker, from playing with Clifford Brown and Booker Little and George Coleman, and then with the bands with M. Boom, with Warren and Fred King and Omar Clay. I mean, to me, Max was a consummate, consummate musician, all around musician. And then his activism, his, his sense of, you know, the importance of not just being an entertainer, but using his music to carry messages, it's just phenomenal. That's why when you listen to the Freedom Now Suite, you know, it's still so emotional and relevant today. Then on January 26, the Max Roach Centennial Freedom Now Suite concert at NJ Pack with musical director Nasheed Waits. As a musician, he was always at the cusp of innovation. He's he's really one of the most replicated drummers and, and 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 revered drummers of all time in modern history the advances that he made uh, and it was and it was in in, in in the professional sense it also links itself to the activism because um he was always interested in giving the voice to those people the voice of the unheard and a lot of times within the uh construct of a band the drummer is the person who gets treated with the least respect so one of his goals was to dispel that myth of, of the drummer being the ignorant person in the band. So he was always about composition. He was always about, even the way he soloed was was uh, commonly re referred to as melodic. You know, and he was he would call it shapes and, and different things of his nature, but it, it it gave credence to the to the to the knowledge and the musicianship of the drummer. So his, his activism wasn't only seen and, and felt in the in the realm of civil rights, it was also felt on the bandstand. You can see my entire interview with drummer Nasheed Waits and Sam Pollard on the WBGO Facebook page. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.